are officially in Canada. We got our Tim Hortons coffee and we're ready to hit the road to Vancouver. I got a lot of shopping to do. Wait. Oh, oh, I'm not used to skinnies anymore. Okay. Commit, right? Oh my God. Man. Nice, Nick. Oh, sick. Oh my God. Oh no. <laughs> Gotta get locked in. There we go. Ooh. Oh no. my god, what the? <laughs> Bleep me. <laughs> Life on the road has been awesome. Our North American road trip has been a blast and we've already gone on so many adventures and met with so many old friends. In our last video, we made it to Washington and crossed the border to our neighboring country, Canada. It's been a while since we've been to Canada and in this video, we finally make our way back to the North Shore to meet up with our friend and guide, Van Can. Nick takes us on some of the awesome trails on Mount Seymour and we get reacquainted with the Canadian mountain biking scene. This is Vancouver, British Columbia. We made it through to Canada. It was super easy, no line, and they didn't search the van. I'm actually blown away that they did it. Normally they like rip everything apart, especially because this is our first trip to Canada in our new van and we're in South Dakota now. I thought there was gonna be like some discrepancies or any of that stuff, but apparently we look like very trustworthy people. Mo was a little bit delayed on his responses though. <laughs> Passing through Surrey right now. Now here's the thing, the question that I have is we have no game plan right now. End of last video was actually shot this morning, so it is the same day. Like we had said in the last video, we are not sure about these wildfires. It is getting pretty close to Whistler. It's actually in Kelowna. We're getting a little bit nervous about the situation. Border Patrol officer didn't mention the fires at all, which leads me to believe that we're gonna be okay in BC, but we'll keep our fingers crossed. Super pumped to get back to riding Squamish, Whistler, some of our favorite trails out here and sharing them with you guys. Also really excited for Tim Hortons. Really nervous though because this van actually doesn't have a kilometers per hour, it just has a miles per hour. Our last one actually had the kilometers per hour, so hopefully we don't get any speeding tickets. As always guys, if you guys can hit that like button, it really does help with the channel a ton. And subscribe if you're not already because we're gonna have a ton of Canadian ventures coming soon. Now we are officially in Canada. We got our Tim Hortons coffee. And we're ready to hit the road to Vancouver. I got a lot of shopping to do. Look at these bike lanes. They're separated with a little cement curb. Is it that hard to do uh, Southern California? I feel like, I don't know, so many other cities are so much more bike friendly than Southern California. I'm just stressing that. We're gonna ride bikes and we have a special guest to the channel. We have... Nick. You look so dark right now. Do I? Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess a little bit of a... Hey, listen. This is different uh, sides of the continent. I have a little surprise for us, but to make you feel more at home. Oh, no. <laughs> Are we getting copyrighted? Yeah. <laughs> Finally time to ride bicycles and here is our guest that you saw earlier, Nick. How you doing, Nick? Good, good. My name's Nick. I run the YouTube channel Van Can. I live here in Vancouver and we're gonna go ride some bikes here on Mount Seymour. We're gonna go ride CBC, which has just been redone. Uh, and then we're gonna go ride probably Corkscrew, Pangor Boogeyman. Uh, this is a Noli Chilcotin 167 and it's in the purple. Uh, it's a 29er, 167 mil travel in the rear, 180 mil in the front because I've upforked it a bit. Uh, it's a size large, 29er, and yeah, it's awesome. I'm seeing that coil shock back there, mm -hmm, is that the mm -hmm. way to go in British Columbia? Yeah, you're gonna want a coil. Both are good. Coil if you just want to get your plow on, and air if you want to be a little more poppy. You feel like a Canadian yet? Hey, <laughs> I'm there. I'm all, I'm all set to go. When are we moving? CBC, this is apparently the first trail Mo ever rode in Canada. Oh, you! Nice. You! Back to Canada! Rolls? Rolls. You! Oh, sick. 
Should we give it a go? <laughs> I don't know. Let's not and say we did. This might be a bad idea, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Whoa. Nice. Whoo! <laughs> it has to be easy to you because you guys ride this stuff in the rain. Yeah, I would say this ranks on like the intermediate level for the shore area. Oh, shit. Um, it only gets way harder. <laughs> oh. Wait. Oh, oh, I'm not used to skinnies anymore. <laughs> My heart dropped. Guys, I feel like I might have became a better rider four years ago when I was here last than I am now. But one thing about Canada, when you leave, you always leave a better rider unless you hurt yourself. As long as I don't hurt myself, I'll be fine. I gotta get used to skinnies again. It is a terrifying feeling, but these aren't as bad as the one we just did. Uh. <laughs> my heart likes it. <laughs> okay, following Hannah. Oh my God. What did he just do? We haven't been in Canada for very long and I'm already about to try something. This might uh, go left or right. We'll see, we'll see. Drop in. Ooh. Okay. Commit, right? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Oh, I don't like being up here at all. I don't like this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I want to get off. Take me off the wood. Take me off the wood. Talk about commitment issues. Oh, I can commit to Hannah, but apparently I can't commit to wood. That sounded probably a little off. Okay, so when riding skinnies, one thing you can do to keep your balance is to drag the rear brake. Mm. Uh, you can have something either to pedal against or rear braking will kind of like bring you up a bit. You know, it's like the opposite of when you're braking in a corner, right? That yeah. brings you up and you get off the corner. But on the skinny, you kind of want to bring yourself back up or have something to push against. So sometimes dragging your rear brake helps a bit. And then the same with even when you're riding skinnies, we always talk about being locked in because there's that commitment, right? Like you want to, you get that locked in feeling, but then you know you have to commit. You get, you get locked in, you go for it. Yeah. <laughs> you got to make it to the other side. For sure. Yeah. And what about pooping yourself? Is there any <laughs> tips you can give? Soiling yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Just the fear. Wear a diaper. <laughs> By the way, you guys, Hannah is the one who peer pressured me <laughs> into doing that. She called me a wuss. <laughs> Sick. <Whew. sighs> nice. Oh man. Well, this looks janky. Oh, nice line, Hannah. <sighs> Breathing, breathe, Mo, breathe. <laughs> Try to go as slow as I can here and just. Nice, Nick. You made it look so easy. Man, Nick is such a good rider. I feel like the talent level rises dramatically as soon as you cross that border. Nice, Hannah. Cool. Whoa. Oh, that was a roll. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Yes. Right. Nice line, Kook. Oh, oh my God, I'm kind of. Yeah, Ooh. Nice. Where's it at? Right this thing? Yeah. This is not as good. <laughs> it's it's a full <laughs> Are you doing it? Sure. Oh, my God. Oh no. <laughs> Gotta get locked in. There we go. Cool. Oh, oh my god. What the? <laughs> Bleep me. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get out of our game. We need some Whistler bike park laps. Fortunately, I was not born with 
They have Nick's genetics, so we're going on this line. <laughs> Which still feels pretty hard <laughs> in its own right. The trail is called Corkscrew. I'm gonna attempt to keep up with Nick for a quick second, <laughs> probably. Ooh. Yep, there was the second. Second's gone. <laughs> God, he's so good. You guys think, wow, Mo's keeping up with Nick. I'm not. He's just being really nice and waiting up. <laughs> what the heck was that, Nick? <sighs> so good. Ooh, ah. I feel like those two skills I just don't have. Skinnies and jumping. And I feel like that's like a British Columbia skill set or Canada. Maybe I'm just making excuses. I think I'm just making excuses. Nice, Nick. He's so good. Hi. Huck. <laughs> <laughs> kind of full on. Yeah. <laughs> Got the kook back in front. Boy. Oh, sick. This mountain is so big. All right, so. We had a little bit of an accident. The GoPro died and we didn't have an extra battery. But we're back on the trails. Hannah was very nice enough to shuttle us for this lap. Boy. Oh, wow. She makes it look so easy. Whoa. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> the trail that I really want to show you guys. It's called Pangor. Oh man. Whew. Oh, nice. So cool. Oh, I feel so good to be back riding mountain bikes in Canada. I feel like this is real mountain biking. Oh, of course he took me on this one. This one was definitely scary. <laughs> Nick with his maple syrup skills. That's what we're going to start calling. Canadian mountain bike skills. <laughs> nice, dude. Oh no, I think this thing is coming up. Oh man. Nice, Nick. Oh, sick. Oh my God. <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> that was awesome, dude. <laughs> Somehow following Nick, I just kind of, I just went for it. <laughs> And man, it's so much nicer to have a wheel to follow, especially in these places that we go. That the trails, man, they're built so well, but seeing someone do them makes it even better. And I feel like following someone also, it kind of puts a little bit of added pressure on you. Sometimes you'll try things that maybe you wouldn't try by yourself, or maybe you'll get in over your head. Could be either way. And the ride's not over. <laughs> cool. Nice, Nick. Oh man, uphill skinnies. All right, I think the other feature I really want to show you guys is coming up as well. I'm gonna see if I can follow Nick into it and not chicken out. Wow. Okay, nice, Nick. What the heck is this, guys? This is, how is this mountain biking? <laughs> oh my God. Dude. <laughs> that is, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. That was awesome, dude. Well, guys, that was a super fun rip. Uh, how would you rate our performance today, Nick? That was great, A plus. <laughs> <laughs> how, would nice. our, how would you rate our would I feel like there's room for improvement for sure. It does feel good. I feel like my progression is going to go through the roof. So fingers crossed I don't get hurt. Thanks for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed our adventure here in Canada. This is our first day here and there's going to be many more adventures to come. We can't wait to get to Squamish and get to Whistler and get to the bike park. So stay tuned for that. It's going to hit that like button. really does help with the channel a lot. And subscribe if you're not already because we have a lot more adventures to come. You. I think I'm moving in with Nick. I think he says he has space for me, so. Bye. Let's go, Nick. <laughs>